Hundreds of thousands of your taxpayer dollars have been spent fixing up the historic Lincoln building in Kansas City's 18th and Vine District. Yeah, but now in a felony case, an associate with the Black Economic Union is accused of intentionally causing thousands of dollars in damages to the building. 41 Action News investigator Andy Alcock has the exclusive video revealing what happened. It sits right in the center of Kansas City's 18th and Vine District. The historic Lincoln Building is also at the center of a bitter ownership dispute between current owner Henry Service and the previous owner, the Black Economic Union, or BEU. It resulted in an undisclosed settlement after a court fight. Well, the building was getting vandalized, um, uh, and we were just trying to figure out how things were happening. Service installed motion-sensitive surveillance cameras. Then one night in June, video captured BEU intern Takashi Ford entering the women's bathroom at 744. About a minute later, Ford re-enters the bathroom, opens the door slightly, and looks in. Then Ford comes back a third time, 10 minutes later at 755. Again, she opens the door, looks inside, but doesn't go in, and then walks away. According to court records, water can be heard running and observed on the floor. Those court records also state it is believed she was checking on the water as it flooded the restroom. Then, more than an hour later at 909, for the first time since Ford, the camera picks up another building tenant walking by. He notices water coming out from under the door, knocks on the door, and then enters the bathroom. He had to unplug a bunch of paper that had been wadded up into the sink. He, he pulled it out himself, turned off the water, and then informed me about what he had found. You did not cause vandalism in that bathroom? Absolutely not. But Kansas City Police and now the Jackson County prosecutor have a different take. After viewing the same videos, a detective interviewed Ford. The detective in his report says Ford continued to talk in circles and admitted she unintentionally left the water running in the sink. Is that what he told the, the officer? That could be a possibility. Another tenant sent an email to service claiming she saw Ford on several occasions throwing paper towels in the sink and running water. The tenant also states about Ford, I have also been in the restroom when she was doing something to the toilet. Police arrested Ford and prosecutors have charged her with felony property damage estimated at $8,500. Despite the video evidence, Ford denies vandalizing the restroom. One, I don't have a reason to. I've been there a year and a half. What reason would I have to do that? To us, it's clear that she's the one who did it. After looking at the video, service sent Ford a warning against trespassing in the Lincoln Building. Since that time in June, Ford, who'd served as the Black Economic Union's receptionist during office hours, hasn't been in the building. Service and other tenants say BEU's offices are rarely open, even during business hours. I'm investigator Andy Alcock, 41 Action News. If convicted of the felony charge, Ford faces up to four years in prison and a $10,000 fine. She's due to make her first court appearance in the case next month.